Hi guys, what is up? It is Dylan here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are back on Vectory, and this is a cool video that we are gonna do because we're gonna be learning and just playing around with the mirroring tool. I'm gonna show you how to guys how to use the mirroring tool, and then uh, I'll show you how to do some other stuff. So yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it. All right, so there's gonna be an ad plugin over here. So you want to click that and you're going to see the mirroring, um, obviously add it because why not? So it'll add this little blue see-through, uh, whatever, it'll add a little thing in between. Um, and then what you'll want to do is you will, so let's say I want to, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's make a, uh, a wheel or something, anything. So you'll go layer one. And you'll go to layer one and then you'll draw on this side of the mirror um, I think you can draw on the other side it'll show up the same way but I usually just draw on this side so let's say I want to make a hat on this side so do that and then that and you just click there and there you go there's two hats or uh, two boxes that will soon be hats so whatever you do to the left side will automatically happen to the right so let's pan over here and now we're gonna do our favorite part which is the um, I guess you could call it making the cap it's the most I don't know it's my favorite part anyways so let's uh, drag the blue gizmo is that thick enough we could add a little bit bit more thin nah 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 that's fine all right so there's your kind of hat looking thing and uh once you have that you're gonna have like the the whole cap done and then so you're gonna go to the side um about right here until you get this and then you're gonna go to cut or uh, actually no we don't have the beak made yet or yeah yeah wait hold on, hold on. this is making the beak all right so you go cut you're gonna go to about right here. Kind of got eyeball this. About yeah, right there. All right, so then you're gonna want to pick your side that is, you know, it's pretty equal. We'll just pick any side. Extrude. There we go. So there's the beak of our hat so far. Now we have to make the hat look even better. You guys are probably thinking. Well, Dylan, we already know how to do it, but I'm still going to show you. So you select the outer lines, and you use the bevel tool, and you make the the beak, or the top, the brim part of it. So there you go. There's your, but you're not done yet. So you have to do the beak too. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. If you like the hat the way it is, by all means, keep it like that. I just like shaping the... Uh, the end part of it so there you go uh, I guess it could be shaped a little bit more why not undo and we'll do bevel right there all right guys there is the hats uh, so they're both there so now we're gonna do what we've done we're gonna make this uh, steel shiny nice gold there's your gold hats and uh, let's add some Google fonts plugin. So you go add plugin. You're gonna go to Google fonts over here. And then you wanna go, you're gonna like go over here and you're just gonna type your name. So I'm just gonna put Vectory. We'll put it in all caps. Vectory and then we'll give it a nice uh, slabo. Oh, I keep clicking the robot one. Slabo. Alright, then you're gonna just put, yeah, and then quality all the way, because that makes it look better. You can turn on bevel. Uh, I put the thickness to 7. Size to 4. And segments all the way. And then you'll put uh, snap to face. And you're gonna click on the uh, brim part of it. And then you're gonna scroll back down and go to convert to layer so that way you can change the color of the uh, google fonts like the uh vectory thing the uh font uh, anyways if you want to all right so there you go there is the vectory font on the on the hat 
We're gonna go to textured. Uh, I'm just gonna choose white. Oh no, that's the hat. We'll just go back to gold. Go there here. Yeah. All right. And we'll click on the vectory. Uh, we'll just make cha change the layer name to hat. All right. Then we'll go back to vectory. The layer. Uh, w wait. Where did vectory go? Uh, Vectory just disappeared, so let me be right back and I'll uh, redo this. Alright guys, so once you have the Vectory, you select the uh, the thing, you're going to go to Textured, and we're going to give it a nice white, we're going to make it steel, we're going to make it shiny, and we're going to give it 3D print. Alright, now you guys are done the mirroring part of it, but the only thing that sucks about the mirroring part is that when you make a Google Fonts, the Google fonts will only snap to this face. Uh, I think you could actually snap it, like duplicate it somehow, but it only goes on one side for Google fonts. So that's one thing you guys have to watch for. So now if I wanted to, let's, let's say I want to get rid of the mirror and I just wanted to keep the two hats there, that would not work. It would delete this side of the hat and it would keep this side. So you have to kind of be, you have to just, just leave it. And now when you print it, it will come out just like this. Uh, it should come out as two hats. Um, don't exactly know for sure. But yeah, see, like you can you can change how, how it's flipped and stuff. Uh, I wouldn't mess around with that too much. So yeah. Um, that's about it for the mirroring tool. Now let's move on to the next. Alright guys, we're going to try this cage edit thing. I've never actually done this before uh so this is a first for me so if i look uh if i look really bad just just don't 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 think i'm i'm bad or something i'm just uh you know what no let, let's let's just try something else because I'll, I, I'll have to play around with that like that's that's pretty hard um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how you could do a um i guess you could call it like a um uh, skipping rope thing um, so we're gonna do like a, a mirroring tool because you know mirroring is an awesome tool so uh, yeah and got uh, I'm just gonna say this while I'm making this so the uh, factory congrats on uh, reaching 50,000 people that have signed up I, uh, I know you guys have reached that and I just want to say it's an awesome goal that you guys have hit and uh, I'm pretty happy for you guys because your site let's face it is awesome um, so let me just uh, lift this up. Um, no, this is a little bit thick. <laughs> um, so let's just redo that. I don't know. I wasn't really thinking. So now let's think just handles for a a skipping rope. All right, we're just gonna do this. That's cool. All right, so there you go. Then you're gonna have it just like this. Um, we're gonna add the layer, layer one. So there you go. There is the the double for that. Um, now we're gonna make the handle like themselves. So this is what I would do: is I would select the top, all of these faces, and I would delete them. But here's the cool thing: is I would extrude to make the shape thicker, or the handles rather, and I would just make them thicker themselves. So we're going to delete the top and do the same to the bottom. And this is pretty cool how you can just like, I mean, the cylinder, I wish you could make it so that way there was only um, one face that you could select. Like you could choose what how many faces you, you would want to select with the cylinder, like if you want to select the whole thing or not. So yeah, you're going to hit K or selections drag, you're going you're gonna to hit extrude, and you're going to add a little bit of thickness to this thing. So yeah, that, that that's pretty thick. I, uh, or maybe maybe add a little bit more. Um, yeah, alright. So there, this is kind of just a rough sketch. Like if I really wanted to, and I took a little bit of t more time, I could make it look a lot better. But I'm just doing this for this tutorial. So there is the, um, you know, the thing, the handles. So let's say I wanted to give them a little bit of a curve on the inside. You would use the cut tool. 
you go about right here into the middle. That isn't even. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back, but right into the middle. That's even. All right, even Steven. That's that's cool, right? Um, so you're gonna zoom in fairly like that. You're gonna go select lines. Uh, this does kind of suck, but you know it. It'll it'll be worth it in the long run. So you just wanna go around the whole thing, pan it this way, and once you've gone around the whole shape, you're gonna uh, don't do that. Uh, that's kind of what you wanna do, but not really, not like that. See, so you, uh, you just wanna keep selecting the lines around the cylinder and once you've gone all the way around you can now just go to the menu or uh, not the menu but you can go to the scale and this will it, it could almost push it in or like oh uh let me just go back so you uh you can try this you can try anything you want like i could turn it like this i could make it look cool um you know what, we're gonna add like one of these so we're gonna Make it look nice and cool. Ooh, that that looks pretty cool. We're gonna give it a nice little twist. All right, there is uh, my uh, my handles. Like now, I wouldn't say those are the best grippy handles, like for grip wise, but uh, it looks pretty cool. All right, so you could even make a vase if you wanted to with this. So we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna we're gonna give it like a little bit of a like see I can I can do that I can lengthen it out uh, we'll just go back on that so there's this scale thing and this makes it bigger or smaller there's there's it's pretty cool you just have to play around with them to get like what you want um, I don't know some some things will add cool effects to your your handles or whatever you're making it's it's pretty cool uh, so yeah guys that that's how you use the mirroring tool but yes guys this is just basic stuff uh if you want to really get into it then you're gonna have to you know just look into it more and so yeah guys this is this is my handle you could actually do it even here too if i really wanted to you can add different stuff but yeah so if you 3d print this i'm pretty sure this would come out in two pieces but you could still use them you can change the size of them and you can still use them you can put a bearing in there maybe you can do anything you want with the with the handles um so yeah this is pretty cool obviously um so yeah i'm still trying to get out i don't ha i haven't had that much time but i'm trying to get out to the library so that way i can uh you know do some cool uh 3d printing i need to take a, a class or a two hour tutorial thingy that they show me there and then i'll be able to 3d print the hats and i'll uh, be able to send uh some people some pics of the hats and yeah it's kind of cool so uh thank you guys for watching i uh if you guys really do enjoy vectory make sure you check it out i'll leave a link to vectory's youtube channel if you don't like my tutorials and you think theirs are better go ahead to theirs and i will also leave a link to this right here this vectory.com engine so this just lets you play around with it. You can even uh, go out, like you can go back to your platform. You can do whatever you want on this awesome thing. So yes, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe. Now, I will be leaving and I will try to upload tomorrow. I might not be able to. I might have to upload on Friday. So anyways guys, thank you for watching and I'm out. Peace.